Hi, this is a quick overview of the highways asset um, information that's going to be available on the intranet maps. Um, the screen that you're looking at right now is the familiar front screen that you log on to when you go onto intranet maps. Here, you're going to be finding a new map that's going to say highways 2. I'm demonstrating how intranet maps works with the old highways map because the functionality of intranet maps is the same uh, is the same whether it's on the new one or the old one. So what you do is you click that, you click go. That then starts to fire up. Just give it a few minutes. You then come to a screen that looks like this. Right, the only button buttons that you really need, I'm gonna start from left to right. This is just to zoom in and out, but you don't really need that if you've got a mouse that's got the wheel button. So all you do is you just roll the mouse and then you're going to zoom in this way. You just roll in the mouse and you zoom in, you zoom in and whatnot. To pan, you press again, you press the mouse button, uh, you press the mouse key. And then you just pan it this way. Oh, it's zoomed in a bit too much. Just zoom out a little bit. Panning might be a little bit better with this. I don't know. You can just play about with it. It's not that difficult. Right, so you zoom in. What you've also got is the most important button really is that button there, the query tools. You don't need to press the down button and whatnot. All you do is just press that button and then you can press on the adopted highway and it's going to open up a box that is going to show you information about the adopted highway. Now it's opened up on that screen, so I'll bring it over here. Right, what you've got there, what I've actually clicked is the MM landline layer. Um, the map that I'm giving you, there won't be a chance of clicking that. Um, so the map that I'm giving you, you're going to get this information I'm going to show you now when you click the adopted highway. You're going to get this information. You click the adopted highway, like that. It's opened up on the other screen. This is the sort of information you're going to get about the adopted highway. Things like that. To add an overlay, what you need to do is you come back here to the left hand side and you click. Let's just say you want it on the street lights. You just click the street lights overlay. Can you see I've just clicked the street lights overlay on the left hand side? You get all the lamp columns. It's going to look different on the new map that I've created, but similar sort of thing. You're just going to get a blob like that. What you then do is you want to see what information that is. Uh, the new one that I've given you is going to have quite a bit of information just straight on it. But if you want to go into more detail as to what that layer is all about, I'm just going to switch off the background map because it selects it. But like I said, on the one that I'm giving you, it ain't going to have, you won't be able to do that. Press the I button, press the lamp column button. Right, it's giving you the adopted, it's giving you uh, the adopted highway information and it's giving you the street lights information. Double click that. Street lights information. And it's giving you a whole it's giving you information about the lamp column which you've just clicked, which is there. Let me just close that again. So it's things like that. Um, so basically that is predominantly what you're going to be using. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do it again. Do it again, use a different one. A bit slow because what I'm doing is I'm recording it on one screen and blah de blah de blah. Let's just say you want to check this lamp column out, just select it about there, click that. Oh, future selected, okay, put it in the middle. Right, so opened it up on this screen. Right, so at that point there, wherever it is that I clicked, it's got the it's picked up the adopted highway and it's picked up the street lights. So what you need to do is you know, you want to work, you want to find out information about the street lights. So you just click that. Again, it's opened it up on my other screen. Just bring it here and it's just going to give you information, whatever's available about that street light on the table. So that's one element of it. 
Um, the other thing is when you're looking for a particular address, it's the uh, gazetteer tool that you need. So you press the gazetteer tool, which is this binoculars looking thing. You click that, you get this box that will open up. Um, and here you just go into the street and you type a street name. Dada Road. You press search. Find quite a few queries. Pick one that you want. Select it. Press OK, and it's taking you to that point. Um, I'll just put the background map on again, just to show you where you are. As you can see, that's Dallas Road, I believe. Yeah, that's Dallas Road. So, point I'm making here is this thing here, the binoculars. Um, it just helps you navigate around. If you want to measure something, uh, you press this button here, which is the measure tool. Again, um, it's just straightforward. You want to measure a line, you just select it and then just measure it and measure it. Press enter when you're done. Um, and it will just stay there. Um, again, measure an area, you can measure an area, you can measure an angle. Predominantly what you're going to be using is this button here, the query, the, the information button, the gazetteer and the print button um, to print. So when you press the print button, which I've just done right now, you get this screen that's going to open up. Pick a template. I usually use um, A3 landscape. You select that. You press that button, which is the print button. You then place the map. Can you see? There's given me an option now to uh, place the map. So you place the area. Let's just say I want to place it about here. I place it there. It then opens up. Can you see this sort of map in the background? That's what I'm going to be printing. Click uh, place overlay legend, which is just a key. Press that, put that there. All right, and then just press OK. And that will then bring up another screen where you can just PDF it, I believe. Yeah, which is bringing you this screen. And then what I normally do is I just press save there, which is at the bottom, or you can press print if you want. Um, so what I've shown you there is, I've just shown you what the information button is. Yeah, that's where you, I'll just press, I'll just do it again. You, you press the information button, you then press on something that you want to see information about. Um, here, what it's giving me is a whole load of information. Like I said, on the new map that I'm giving you, it won't be as complex and cluttered as this. It will, If you click on a lamp column, it will give you the information about the lamp column. Uh, if you click on the adopted highway, it will give you information about the adopted highway. Um, so, so let's just say you want to see what's going on about streetlights. Double click into the streetlights. Again, it's opened it up on my other screen. I'll bring it over which is there and there you can just see information about it you can click onto the next one don't know what that does is that going to do anything i don't know yeah probably not um yeah that's that's the gist of it really there's not really a lot to um, talk about information binoculars which is your gazetteer just show you what that looks like again. That's that bit here where you type in the street name or where you want to go or what you want to look at and the print layout. The print layout will print whatever you're seeing on your screen right now. Um, and the other bits and pieces like the open editor tool, which looks like that, you'll never need to use that. This thing here, you'll never need to use that because I've added everything there. This button here, export to BDS, export to GML, you'll never need to use that. Here, again, this is just to add an overlay. This is just to add overlays. Again, I've added everything to the map, which you will find here. Obviously, this is the old one. Uh, this thing here, if you want to draw something, you know, changes, save. I think it actually saves things. This button here saves things that you draw with this button here. So let's just say you drew uh, a freehand curve. You drew a curve, whatever that is that you've drawn. Yeah, you've drawn it, you've just, you've just scribbled along it, right? 
okay, and you want to save that scribble for whatever reason. You press that. Where does it save it? Change is saved. And can you see here? It saved it here. It's just the way it is. I, I don't really know where it goes after you change it or save it or if even it recovers it or even if you can pull it back again. From what I know, this bit here, annotation, it disappears once you um, open and close uh, intranet map. So it doesn't stay there. Um, how you pull it out from intranet maps is... I think it's this thing here. Copy map image or save map image. Copy your, I think it's this one, save map image. I don't know, I think that does something. Yeah, you can save this map image that you've just drawn as a PNG, a JPEG or a Windows bitmap. Um, so that was this button here. Um, let's just try that again with a bit of the drawing tool. Let's draw something that's more meaningful. Let's just say you want to draw a bit of text. So I've clicked it into there, clicked it there. Have I? Yeah, just tip, typing away. All right, so wherever I press it after I've typed it, it just does that, like that. You know, so that's the sort of stuff it does. You press escape and then you come back out of it. Um, and that's the text button. Like again, you, I doubt you're ever gonna be using any of this. Well, you know, if you do, Drawing stars, I don't know what that does. Let's open something up here. You'll never need this because I've created all the themes for you here. Um, that's about it, really. There's nothing to it. Information is the one that you're really going to be using. Gazetteer when you want to find a road name and print. That's it. Bye-bye.